Hey, Zuto Rug here, come at you with another episode of Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth 2 Sisters Generation. Let's see if it works this time, doesn't crash. But, a little bit of housekeeping out of the way first. I've fixed all the little audio issues, I believe, so this episode should sound relatively okay. So, let's just get right into it. Yay, Stella's back. Let's see what she has for me. Nice. That's lovely. I don't think she got anything we don't already have, so I'll just go ahead and send her to the next area. Off she goes! Alright, let's just get right into set tent. Okay, the frame rate's still all kinds of laggy. That's lovely. Okay, I need to get over to that little event area. Might as well just head there. Mm. I want to do a little grinding first to get my AXE gauge built up, so see you guys in. Well, be just a split second for you guys. Uh oh, she's stunned. Well, she is rather stunning. I am so glad no one gets to hear that joke. And we're back. All done with grinding, XE gauge charged to one. So let's go ahead and see what's in store for us here. Oh, Mr. or Miss Mascot! Come out, come out, wherever you are! That's... We were given legit directions. The mascot should be around here. I doubt the Oracle would lie, but... Uh, it's Kay. She's weird. Oh, everyone, look! I found an area that resembles where we found Planet Tune's mascot! Neat! Hopefully it's actually it. There! I think that's the mascot! Excuse me! Last Station's mascot? Hmm. Planet Tune's CPU? No. The CPU candidate. Are they all voiced by, uh, Neptune's voice actress? This mascot is wide awake. Must mean that the share situation is a lot worse here in Last Station than it was back in Planetune. Oh boy. Um, so basically, we'd like you to come with us. How sudden. Do you truly believe that I would follow you without first confirming your intentions? To be fair, I like her voice quite a lot. The CPUs are held captive in the game industry graveyard, and we need your help to save them all. I see. I sensed unusual fluctuations. But hearing that all the CPUs are being held captive is a shock. If true, that only strengthens my argument to not accompany you. Oh dear, this one's gonna be interesting. Oh, lame. Why? Her face looks like a marshmallow. My sole purpose is to protect this nation during the CPU's absence. Leaving now would cause the nation to lose any and all divine protection yet remaining. Oh, that's this lovely. This is unallowable. It is, after all, part of the pact we mascots made with the true goddess. Ray. So you're saying it's fine to let the CPUs be held captive? As I said, my purpose is merely to act as the CPU's proxy in her absence, not instigate a rescue attempt. How fortunate for you, you selfish little pile of but data. This is going to be fun, isn't it? <laughs> Where is she? This is the only place I haven't looked around in, Chip. <sighs> oh, my lovely Kampa. We've been apart since that day. Why did I run? Damn my shyness, Chip! He is so creepy. Huh? Oh, great! I miss her so much that I'm starting to hallucinate my sweet angel Kampa. Or wait, that's no hallucination. That's Kampa! My lovely angel too. Huh? Oh, it's Mr. Mouse! You... remember me? That makes me so happy to... Not now. We're in the middle of something here. You shut up, Chook! There's nothing more important in this world than Kampa! Oh! Is that the mascot? Mr. Mouse, do you know about the mascots? I'm so lucky, stumbling on both my angelic 
Kampa and the mascot. Well, I have a great idea, Kampa. Let's beat the crap out of that mascot together to... Huh? Beat it up? Why would you say that? Hey, rat, are you... If we smash the mascot, we'll get a massive reward, too. And if you help, my dear Kampa, I'll help you join ASIC as a special VIP member. Oh, oh joy. <laughs> this little Massey is more like a weasel. That's a good way to put it. Don't do something mean like that to the mascot. If you do, then all of game industry will... Exactly! Game industry will be one step closer to being under total domination through ASIC, too. Yeah, he probably supports us because he's so weak and pathetic. With no CPUs and nobody left to believe in him, game industry will be completely under our control! <laughs> to summarize, my sweet angel Kampa, please join us before bad Mr. Mouse. Uh-oh. Kampa? I've been traveling with my bestest friends to help save the CPU, so... Th that makes us enemies. Why is Kampa so broken up about this? Dun dun dun! Enemies! So, so are you telling me that you don't like me that way? You're a disgusting little filth-ridden cretin. I really hate bad people, and bad monsters, and anyone who makes game industry a bad place. Although I guess his name is Warachu in this game, not Parachu. Hate? You hate me? <laughs> Why are they playing such a dramatic, sad English? Like the top. L language. No, yes. no, no, no! My tender heart is shattering to pieces, Chu! All my love will go to my job then! That said, I'm gonna get rid of you all in the name of ASIC2! So oh, happy that joy joy. joy. Emotional drama. Let's take out the trash gear. Huh? What the goodness? When did an enemy appear? Really? <laughs> you really get tunnel vision when you're focused on something. Come on, it's about to charge. Oh, oh, joy. Like one Whoa! What the hell? Where did that come from? Well, let's just go ahead and beat the crap out of them both. Let's see. This is... Attack... Just one enemy? Or can it hit two? Uh, nope, just one. Hmm... Let's take this thing out first. This is my sword dance. It looks the most dangerous. It's my turn. Cool. Let's see what this little stupid rat can do. I got you. I got you. Hmm. Out of my way. Relatively resilient for a little threaten. This should take care of the little run. Good. Now die. Maybe having Nepgear with Gehaburn is a little unbalanced. Good, now go die in a hole. So, that was one of the evils plaguing game industry? Yeah, and now that stupid rat knows exactly where you are. So it would seem. Perhaps it would be wise of me to go into hiding for the time being. If that's what you're planning, why not come along with us? We can keep you safe and hidden. I have already said such a request cannot be granted. Heesh! You're really stubborn! The whole world's like this now, but only your nation matters? 
<laughs> that seems to have kicked something up. So, no matter how hard one tries, some things simply cannot be protected alone. CPU candidate. Yes? Have you decided to join us? I cannot abandon this nation. I cannot break the pact made with the true goddess. So she can't make a... So she can't break a pact made with an insane goddess. Um, there's nothing else we can say to convince you? What I can do is offer my power while my physical self remains here. Accept a portion of my power. Huh? Goodness! Uh, yippee? I think? Though I can offer little, I ask that you help the CPUs and all of game industry. Thank you so very much! We'll make sure to save everyone! Good. Oh, black disc. Cool. So we have purple disc, black disc. I guess it just leaves green and white. Maybe I've done something wrong. Maybe last station share should be higher for me to recruit Uni. Well done. I'm surprised to hear that such a stubborn mascot agreed to lend you some power. We're the ones who came to deliver the report. It'd be really awesome if you wouldn't do it for us. <laughs> Our next step is to visit Louis, but before that, could we meet with Uni one more time? Hmm. That's really up to her, since she dramatically dove under my desk the moment you all arrived. <laughs> hey, don't be a stool pigeon! Oh, hi, Uni. I'm so glad I got to see you. Uh, hi, here. I guess she's just like her sister, then. Already, but, Uni, won't you come with us and help save our sisters? No! At least, not yet. I see. If I went with them right now... I'd only be a burden. <laughs> oh boy. What? Why are you crying? It's because we became good friends, but all we do is fight. And now we will never be BFFs and... Uh, I wonder if Nefkir knows what she's doing. nothing to do with it. Hang on. You're talking like we'll never see each other again. Huh? So, you want to hang out later? <laughs> well... Maybe when I feel like it, maybe I'll, you know, think about it a little. Maybe. Really? For really real? It's a promise, okay? I, I said if I feel like it and not... <sighs> fine, fine, I promise, okay? Yep, just like, like her sister. Character, aren't we? I never thought I'd see the day when Uni could look so happy. Wipe that stupid smirk off your face right now! Gigi, we should get going. Although necessary, I do apologize for keeping you here for so long. Best of luck on your travels. Stop it! You creep me out when you say anything remotely selfless. This is I very true. I luck because of the projected difficulties I foresee with Louise's CPU candidates. Huh? Plural? Oh dear. Here comes Ram and Rom. Hmm. I wonder if I screwed something up. Hmm. Let's deal with Stella first. See what she has to say. Hmm. Neat stuff. More Hoenn tentacles, lovely. That's nice, I guess. Only a few more sections to go, and then she'll have explored it all. So, evasion, PSN. Okay. Yeah, definitely keeping a lucky bell on. All right, off you go. Okay, 
Yeah, let's see what this is about. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely not going down the, um, conquest route. I already have Gehaburn, and I didn't have to kill anyone to get it, so, yeah, no thanks. Right, micromanaging, back in a minute. Right, and we're back. Yes, I am, Red, shut up. Right, so, ooh, there's something new here at Planeptune. Let's see what this is. Chiba. Chiba, Chiba. What? That was weird. Let's see what Louis has in the store. Here I am, Louis, and I made it here first, so I win. Yay for you. Wow. It's so cold. But the scenery really takes your breath away. Well, it being cold kind of does that too. Louis is covered in snow all year. We should all buy some warm undies to keep the cold away. Okay. Only if we have time to spare. We need to gather info, pronto. I agree. <sighs> to the guild then? No, straight to the Basilicon. I haven't heard anything bad about the Oracle here, so we'll be fine. Oh, Mina's got her quirks. What's this on my I screen? See that the Basilicon's up this road. Look at ladies. Someone's making a real commotion. Let's check it out. Oh boy. We don't have time to get sidetracked, so. Huh? That's... Oh, lovely. Step right up, folks. The fun and magical ASIC team is here to spread the good word. Join ASIC today and you'll get instant access to any and all games you want to play for free. Right. Why the hell do I have to do sales pitch front work? Passing out flyers and crap? I wouldn't have gotten stuck doing this if it weren't for those stupid brats. Excuse me, are we the brats you're talking about? Yeah, the dumb blonde chick, the transforming baby, the snob, and the wifey musclehead. <laughs> That's one way of- wait, blonde. Wait. The dumb blonde chick, the transforming baby. Kampa's not blonde. Is she? Her hair's pink. Um moving on. Snob, huh? I didn't know that having proper manners came across that way. Uh, transforming baby? Do I really look that little? Aside from Kampa, she looks like the oldest one in the group. Baby musclehead? Don't be hating just because you're not on my hit that list. <laughs> for you, but this commotion makes you stand out, and now we can't let you get away. You've been a naughty girl, huh? I'm gonna have to punish you. Red's voice sounding so much like an old woman makes that very creepy. Damn, this could be real bad. Hey you, stray kid! Huh? Oh, it's Rom. Don't move. You're my ticket out of this mess. Huh. You all better not try anything, or the kid gets it. I'm fairly certain Ron could kick her ass. Back to basics, huh? How cliche. But we'll see. Let her go! She has nothing to do with any of this! Shut up! ASIC's all about playing dirty, you know? <sighs> now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Help me, Ram! What should we do? Miss Sunderling just kidnapped a little girl. How dare she lay her hands on such an adorable type? Is she planning a shotgun ceremony? Not on my watch. Is that all you think about? Yeah, let's go after her. Jeez, Red is weird. Rome? Hey, Rome. Jeez, where have you 
go. I said to stay right here. Hmm. This is something else. Oh, lovely. More little people to talk to. Okay. Whoa. Is she supposed to be like Toadstool? Uh... <laughs> well, that's mean. I didn't. You're still weird. And Luigi again. Ah, ha. Okay then. I'm say uh, the hmm. Nope, not gonna say anything. And a few words, I suppose. <laughs> right. I think she's in that one game about the zombie one, isn't she? That's a lot of people. Arcana. That's a reference to something. <laughs> that guy seriously looks like Toby Rama. Toby. Yeah, Toby Rama. Really, Snake Hater? Lovely. Uh, again, I think he's a reference to something. False wall and storage unit 10. Okay, this game is has so many references I simply don't get. I don't think Neptune's legs are hairy. At least I hope they're not. Ugh. was something. So do any of these people have anything to say that actually adds to the story instead of just little references to weirdness? They talk about undies way too much. Okay, I've actually heard about that fan theory involving, um, Mario and everything. That is r just too weird for me. A happy... A happy, happy, happy. Would there be a reference to Duck Dynasty in a Japanese game? Alrighty then. I'm going to assume he's talking about the fungus.
Yeah. Misuo. Let's see what this one wants. <laughs> I hope that viewing all these events doesn't, you know, prematurely lock me into the uh, conquest setting. Well, I think that's enough for now. I'll head to the Louis the Louis Global Expo next time, but that sort of finishes up this episode. So, until next time, bye bye.